Hey guys, what's up? Really quick, I just wanted to tell you that I had this cool sketchbook that I've been working on forever, and I finally posted it. It's sketches that I have posted nowhere else. It's specifically for people on this channel. Uh, the link is gonna be in the description. Okay, let's start the video. Hey there, today we're gonna go over how to draw a wolf skull. Uh, wolf skull is very valuable to kind of draw like you see them in the desert. They're just really cool looking. Wolves are just amazing. So we're gonna draw that skull and they're great for tattoos. Uh, we're gonna be using this. This is a Faber-Castell PITT artist pen set. Um, it's different. Um, is basically different sizes and this one usually comes separately this is a giant fat one here but these come in a set normally and then this comes like uh, on its own i think this is the, like the best absolute best uh pen set i've ever used uh i'm gonna put the link in the description to buy it on amazon um oh, another thing i recommend because people ask me a lot about it is uh this this is a real um anatomical medical skull basically they took a real skull and took a casting of it and you can actually use it. If you draw skulls constantly, um, I think this is like a must have. You need like a real one. Some of those ones I saw, uh, you know, like piggy bank skulls and stuff like that, those are, are not good because they're not, uh, you know, very accurate. Uh, but that one is great. That's like a medical one. I'll put that link in the description as well. And then um, we're gonna be, you know, starting. Uh, let's actually get started by the way. Sorry, kind of trailed up. Let's get started. So right now we're gonna start in the wolf skull. And so the wolf skull is essentially elongated, but it has a lot of similar parts uh, as our skull. Um, I'm gonna start with this. This is kind of a small, uh, kind of a thin brush. It's uh, long right here. We're gonna start with the top right here with, essentially where the brow starts. Well, let me pick one that's not so dead. Brow, it's gonna pull kind of top portion of the snout. It's gonna roll down into the front of the snout, right before the teeth. Teeth over here, one of the, of the canines are there. And when the canines are here, I'm gonna mark it before I actually draw it in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna go to the back right here. The back of the skull has a bit of a crest over here.
it's going to be smaller. And I'm going to go over here with smaller details and I'm going to start pulling these lines uh, again in directional uh, directional forms essentially. So I'm throwing sometimes lines for a couple of reasons. One, style, and two, to uh, show off the form that's going on because there's a lot of curves that are not being shown because we're in a 2D drawing setting. So I'm trying to make that come across by throwing like, you know, if I throw a few lines here, I'm gonna, you're gonna know that that's like kind of, you know, kind of bulging out a little bit. That small area is bulging out. And when you do that everywhere, it starts to create the illusion uh, that, that, you know, there's stuff going on here. Uh, and it's not just like a thing um, there is a floating like island right here and generally you want to try to kind of connect that island to something you don't always have to do that uh, but sometimes it's a it's a good idea to do that um, so it's like a rule of thumb and so drawings about principles and not rules uh, meaning uh, there's no you have to do this uh, it's more like this uh, the way you do this has worked uh, but there are other ways to do it and other people have many many different ways to get to the same result um, so that's why I love art and I think that's why art's amazing to do is because of all the interpretations and the creativity that you can bring to it. It's kind of just amazing to do that with everything. And, um, you know, tattoos, uh, skulls and all of that are no different, especially skulls, right? Skulls is such a traditional, um, the skull is such a traditional image, right? It's, it's, you would think it would be cache, it'd be, or you think it'd be kind of overdone already, but it's, there's no way you can overdo a skull design. Skulls are always cool, no matter what. They're traditional, you know. Um, they're traditional and not cliche. So that that's kind of amazing that there's something like that. You just add a skull into anything, it looks cool. Like video game or there's a dimples right here. Um, anyways, I'm pretty much at the end of it. Uh, one thing I've said in other videos is I'm gonna start selling the uh, some of the original drawings I do on here. Uh, watch out for that. I will put that up somewhere. Um, let me know if you do have any interest in possibly buying uh, an original that I do on here. Uh, and I'll price it appropriately uh, because I think some of these, like this one's relatively small, I feel. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, keep up. Say hi to me. So if you say hi to me, I know that you got away the, the, end, of the, uh, the end of the drawing. Uh, all right. I'll talk to you. Later.